Yeah, that's real talk, man. What's the craziest thing you ever seen from a female? Yo, I seen the wildest thing I seen with a female. I ain't gonna cap. The wildest thing I seen with a female. I'm gonna be in a minute or I'm gonna be in a minute or something. <laughs> I had a party and I had my suite popping. Right, I was hosting some club. So I had a suite at the, at the W Hotel. This is the latest one popping. We got all the girls in there, some vibe, the music's going, the liquor's flowing. I mean, we ain't vibing. And it was a married shit day going on next door. It must have been like the, 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 you know, all the brides is over there, right? This is her last night before she gets married. And, um, you know, they over there drunk. All the women over there like, what's going on down there? Like, the suite is lit, you know? And um, the girls, I'm getting married tomorrow. And then, you know, next thing, the thing that came out of my mouth next was the craziest shit I ever heard. A woman that was about to get married said, she's like, yo, you know, mm-hmm. I want a black man. It's my last night. <clears throat> and all I could think about, I would, yeah, yeah, you know, not, not me, I do. But, you know, like I said, I was with my peoples and she that's what she wanted. And, you know, you go ask somebody, it's like, wait, girl, wait, what? <laughs> It's okay to come on. It's okay. I'm like, yo, she got to kiss that man tomorrow at the hotel. This is the coldest I've ever seen in my life. This is crazy. I can't believe this is, a, this is happening. What's happening? All right. Shalom. This is the brother Yawana Thon about all the one coming at you in the list through the spirit and power y'all by Shemel Shy. First and foremost, as always, I want to start by getting them all praises and glorifications to Yahweh by Shemel Shy by Shemel Kagadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great minister and well. Peace, love, citation to the hopeful elect. Throughout the four corners of earth, preachers, word and truth and sincerity. Shalom. All right, now the title of this lesson is Bachelor Parties are Wicked as Hell. All right, Bachelor Parties are Wicked as Hell. And this video inspired me to, to want to go in this uh, lesson. I ain't going to make it too long. Um, kind of make it short and sweet. But, you know, these women, these Babylonian women are wicked as hell, man. All right. Especially uh, this generation, you know, because these bitches, you know, and excuse the vulgarity that I'm about to use. If if you're, you're, you're sensitive to words, I highly advise you to not watch this video because I'm finna go in. All right. I'm, I'm just keeping it, just keeping it a buck. Okay, because this this is vexing as hell, man. This is what goes on here in Babylon, man. Fucking bachelor parties, which is wicked, man, which breeds nothing but adultery. Even though, uh, as you see, I think it was Bow Wow, the rapper Bow Wow. You know, he was giving his uh, insight what happened, uh, his uh, experience. All right, uh, what happened. And, um, yeah, man, he was just uh, uh, talking about, uh, as you seen in the video, an Edomite. I believe it was an Edomite because said uh, uh she made a statement that uh, i want a black man you know i want to have experience with a black man which you know these edomites um they're gonna do what they do anyway because he saw in them but a fucking conch hold anyway but anyways you know they're gonna do what they do but this is solely you know um primarily focused on you israelite uh, uh men and women concerning bachelorette parties primarily you women okay and this uh, uh, breeds adultery. Here it is. You don't know what's going on in these parties. She can be getting train, uh, trains ran on her. Uh, um, uh, motherfuckers busting them out for whatever, man. And you gotta uh, 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 kiss this bitch the next day, you know, at the wedding. You know, not knowing what the fuck she did the night before, man. Okay? So this, this kind of wickedness again that goes on here in the, uh, Babylon. And by the way, you niggas that get married to these bitches, these sluts nowadays, you a fucking sucker, man. All right? You a fucking sucker. Because ain't no fucking way, man. With the mind state these hoes are in, man. Hey, man, you, you niggas just asking for it, man. All right? But well, I'm going to get some scriptures, man. Because, you know, let me get, uh, hold on. Start off with scripture, such as the way is adulterous woman. Matter of fact, let's get there first. Let's get that first, man.
Oh yeah, con perfect. Perfect. This is uh Proverbs. Shouldn't remember that one. Matter of fact, I'm just get it here in about the Bible app. So lucky I just bear with me real quick. I just uh activated this phone so I have to uh set up the setting settings on certain apps. But I got it right here. This is Proverbs 30 and 20. It says, Such is the way of an adulterous woman. She eateth and wipeth her mouth and saith, I have done no wickedness. All right. And I believe um he made a statement where uh, uh that bitch said uh um the husband granted her wish to have a bachelorette and he, he granted to her. Okay, even though it might most likely it was uh Edomite, but you you niggas you be doing the same thing, man, not knowing what goes on in these bachelorette parties, man. Okay. So she's saying she has done no wickedness the night before. All right. A lot of you women say you don't done no wickedness the night before you got to get so-called married, man, which putting a bitch, I mean, putting a ring on a bitch finger, a thousand dollar ring. That's a, that's another, you know, thing, man. You, you buy these expensive rings to put on these sluts fingers, man. Okay. First of all, you don't know her body count from a can of paint before she got with your simple ass. Okay, but you you buy these thousand dollar rings, all right, and, and 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 she she has a nerve to walk down the aisle with a fucking white dress on, okay. But you that hey that that that's on you niggas, man. But anyways, let me read this again. It says such is the way of an adulterous woman. She eateth and wipeth her mouth and saith, I have done no wickedness. That's these hoes in Babylon, man. See, they'll commit adultery on you. They'll fuck around on you and, and act like they did nothing wrong. And when they get caught. You know, they try to justify it. They try to fucking justify it, man. Okay? So this is the shit you got to deal with. Okay? Because a lot of our women that we, as brothers, you know, and it's true, a lot of the women we dealing with ain't virgins, man. So we got we to gotta, we gotta settle for that, you know? Which you're supposed to have virgins anyway. All right? But nine times out of ten, you're not marrying a virgin. If you so-called getting married in this wicked-ass place, which you shouldn't be getting married, all right, nine times, a good nine times out of ten, that, that woman ain't a virgin, man, or so-called woman, because I don't like calling them women, man. Y'all a bunch of beasts, nasty-ass sluts out here, okay? So, hey, she she wiped her, man. Hey, that's literally, man. Like I said, you don't know who been um, um letting off in her mouth and shit, and you got to kiss this bitch the next day at the wedding, man, you know? Shit's disgusting, man. Let me get another scripture, man. Let me get uh what's that scripture which says she going around like a thirsty traveler. Let's get that too. You know? So like I said, if this too harsh for you, hey, change the channel, man. I don't give a damn right now. You know? I don't I really don't give a damn, man, because this this place is wicked as fuck, man. Alright? A lot a lot of you hoes, you need to be uh uh told about your goddamn self. Matter of fact, let me um, find it on the, uh, she go around as a thirsty traveler. Yeah, Ecclesiasticus, I'm just getting it here, Ecclesiasticus or Syrac 26 and 12, it says she, oh, will open her mouth as a thirsty traveler, and the scriptures also speak how women's uh, 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 how women gad abroad. And that's wickedness, okay? A woman that gads abroad can get that mix. All right, it says she will open her mouth as a thirsty traveler when she have found a fountain. All these men she deals with, okay? It says and drink of every water near her, near her. All right, putting all these spirits on her, all these vibrations on her too, man. All right, letting different men uh, uh, pop her, man, before she get to your simple ass wanting to marry the, um, the bitch. It says, by every hedge will she sit down and open her quiver against every arrow. All right, giving it up. All right, here it is. She, she make you wait for it. This bitch make you wait for it. Why, 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 uh, Duggo or, 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 or Pookie and Ray Ray, they, they getting it, you know? And they don't gotta wait. But your simple ass, your simple dumb ass, 
put a, a, a ring on a bitch finger. All right. Expect her to be pure and innocent. Like she pure and innocent. Wearing a white fucking dress, man. All right. You sucker niggas out here, man. You sucker ass niggas, man. All right. So that's what these bitches do, man. You know, let me read it again. She will open her mouth as a thirsty traveler. These whores and these sluts out here. When he have found a fountain and drink of every water near her by every hedge, would she sit down and open her quiver against every arrow. And that arrow represents these rods. She, she, uh, uh let in her man different men's rods man okay all right because the scriptures speak of a wicked and adulterous generation let's get that <laughs> i'm just get, uh finding on um the google okay this is uh matthew 16 and 4 it's like you get in the KJV all right this is uh Matthew 16 and 4 it says a wicked and adulterous generation seek of after a sign and there shall no sign be given unto it but the sign of the prophet Jonas and he left them and departed but the point being a wicked and adulterous generation seek of after a uh, sign a wicked and adulterous generation this is right here man Okay, because ain't nothing but a, 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 a adulterous ass spirit goes on out here. See, adulterous committed just like a, 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 a man put on a pair of drawers every day or a woman put on a pair of panties every day. Is that common? Is that fucking common, man? You know, and there's penalties for that, man. There's penalties for that. Let's get the law on it. Okay. Because you're supposed to be put to death. That bitch don't even supposed to make it to the damn wedding. Okay? She don't even supposed to make it to the damn wedding, man. This is Leviticus chapter 10, uh, no, chapter 20, verse 10. It says, And a man that committeth adultery with another man's wife, even he that committeth adultery with his neighbor's wife, the adulterer and the adulteress shall be put to death. So that bitch, like I said, that bitch don't supposed to make it to the next day. She supposed to be put to death on the spot. You know? Or uh, when she come on, you supposed to put her ass to death, man. And, th and this is the law on adultery. Okay? And, and by the way, you women can't do what we do, man. A, a man can deal with multiple women as long as he do it in righteousness, as de in decently, uh, decency and in order. Because the scriptures say let all things be done in decency and in order. Right? So technically a man can have one as long as it's done in righteousness. Like he can get a little fling the night before, you know, uh, he so-called get married, you know, deal with a woman that's not married herself, you know, or, or single, you know, and they do their thing. He can do that. But you women, you can't do that, man. You know, so pretty much those bachelor parties at the end of the day, they wicked as hell, man, because if a man have a bachelor party, you know, nine times out of ten, those women that uh, um, he he uh, dealing with, or a woman he deals with is is married, and that's wicked. You know, and she's not single her goddamn self. All right, so I'm gonna read this again. I'm about to close out. This is Leviticus 20 and 10. It says, "And the man that committeth adultery with another man's wife, even he that committeth adultery with his neighbor's wife, the adulterer and the adulteress shall surely be put to death." So there you go, man. That's plain. The adulteress and the adulteress shall be put to death. So adultery for a woman is when she sleeps with another man other than her husband. And adultery uh, for a man is when uh, um, she, if um, he sleeps with another man's wife, and that man, uh, that woman already has a man. All right, but that, like I said, that runs rampant here in Babylon because this is Babylon, the great America, and this is a wicked ass place. Okay. So uh, with that, a hey, Lord willing, this was edifying. I'm going to sign off by saying again, all praises and glorifications goes to Yahweh by Shem al Shah, by Shem Kakodash, double honest to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone Well. Peace, love, citation to the hopeful elect about the four corners of the earth, preaching his word and truth and his sincerity. I say Shalom, Kwame Yashallah, and a Bible ball, Shalom.